Hello, CFA Nation, Gabe, Nick, and we're here today to bring you another installment of R3 Wickets, the Mush Edition, Eddie Mush, oh my God, listen, you can't make it up, Nick was on an epic, epic losing streak, we're talking about every single game Every single game since I've been off the stream, he's lost. My man, look, look, look at all the gray. Look at all the gray in there, man. It's been bad. Today, he goes ahead and says, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and I'm going to go with – um The Stallions, uh, the Italian Stallions. Stallions, but they're not from Italy. They're from Sri I'm Lanka. With the Italian Stallions. Fun fact, the last time he went with a name, the Trident, how did that work out? He got – Smacked in the CPL. Broke that no, game, brother. No, don't fret. Why? Because Eddie Mush is in the house. And I, you cannot make it up. I don't, I don't get it. Nick, I don't get it. Bro, I walk outside and a sunny day can all of a sudden become cloudy. Just rain clouds come in, just thunderstorms. Ground? Unbelievable. We get on the stream. And it's like before he even said a word, we're talking. He said, who do you want to go with? I was like, I don't know. So he says, ah, I kind of like uh, uh, um, the Stallions. Cause they ain't. All right, cool. You owe the Stallions. I go the other way. Before he had said that, the score, I want to say, was in the first. That's why I said, it go ahead. It was rough for a while, man. It was rough for a while. <laughs> I said, go ahead and go with the team that scored 30 runs in the power play. They had like 22 runs. In I don't think they got to 30. I didn't even get the 30. I'm like, yeah, go ahead and take them. Do me the favor. And then once I went with the other side. The power of mush. The power of mush happens. Dude, look at this. Look at this power play, all right? This is runs per over. Four, five, four, three, six, four. And then they had eight in the seventh and then back to four. And then they had nine in the ninth and then back to three. And then. Woo! 12, 20, 11, 20, 9, 22, 17, 12. They had three 20s? Bro, you can't make it up. You can't make it up. And I'm like, what just – remember, when we made the bet, it was early on. So I'm like, yeah, no doubt. I'll go ahead and go with the team that put up 30 runs in the power play, 28 runs, whatever it was. I, I don't get it. Oh, And you know what's crazy? I don't get it. Is your boys? They put up sixty one in the power play. I was feeling they good. Put up sixty one. <laughs> I was feeling good, and then of course, what always happens? Eddie Mush happens, and and, and bro, I, I I you can't make it up. You you, you can't make it up. I mean, bold so out, frustrating. Brother. Bold mm -hmm. out. All right, Nick. Where do you want to start? What do we like? What do we dislike? I mean, oh gosh. I, I don't uh, want to make the people wait. Listen, our average viewing is usually about 30 to 40% of the video length of people that stay retained. I don't want them to wait. I want to know what did you hate, and I want it right now. What did I hate? First and foremost, I hated the drops on both sides, okay? Stop giving me the excuses. I don't want to hear about do. I am so tired of do. Do, 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 do. I don't want to hear it. Do. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, so frustrating. Nick, you can't drop a guy that was, I think when they dropped him, he was at like 20 or 30. He goes off of 50. Both of them were at 50. Then they got up to 60. And I'm like, they just kept dropping guys all over the place. I don't get it, bro. I, I don't get it. And it's so frustrating where, listen, at, at some point, you got to be able to say, listen, they're just not playing. Uh, uh, um, They're not playing well. OK, they're just not doing what they're what, 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 what playing up to their uh, uh, potential. But the drops, the drops absolutely killed me. The Tuskers dropped so many. I'm trying to find the actual uh, uh, commentary when on the scorecard when the drops happen. But I was like, you can't do that. You can't do that. And then there were a couple of effort where right before we left, there was a ball hit where the guy pretended like he was reaching out for it. And then he like barely bent his back. You know what I mean? Like, like oh, man, bend your back. The fielding was atrocious. What did I hate? The 
fielding was atrocious. And I'm going to tell you right now, the, the, the one sitter was the absolute worst. And how did he try to catch it? It was a basket catch to the stomach. Basket catch to the stomach. So, I mean, for me, Nick, it's, it's, it's the same as always. Fielding just absolutely killed me. Fielding, like, really? Really? And then this, this guy, Neva, Neva, I don't even know how to pronounce the name. You guys know I butcher all the names all the time. Is it, is it Neva, Nick, or, or Naveen? You're asking me? Let's go. Let's go with Naveen, okay? Naveen, he got himself three wickets, but at the cost of 44 runs. And there were so many no balls. He was trying to, he was trying to get hootie. He was trying to give up that 50 burger. Him and Pardeep got pumped for runs. Oh my, they should be embarrassed. Pumped for runs. It was just disgusting. Nick, the fielding and the bowling was atrocious. And and of course, it it, it just happened. I cannot even make it up. I can't make it up. Watch the game, guys. You know what I'm talking about. Watch the replay. Nick, so, what did you do? What I what did I- not like, because look at the final score, 185 to 131. They, they didn't even get through the 18th over because they got bowled out. And you say, you know, how are you going to find something you didn't like? There was a few things I did not like. This was my very fir- our very first LPL game, okay, LPL match. A lot of players did not know, which I love because I like learning about new players. A lot of these players, I had no idea. I did not like the power play. But, Nick, they scored 185 runs. I don't care. I'm a greedy person. I'm an American. We're greedy. I want more than 105, 85. I want 200. How are you going to score, what was it, 26 runs in the power play? Embarrassing. And you score 185? You tell me you start turning it on in the middle overs. I've never seen that before. What was going on? And you might say, well, the bowling, Nick, you never give credit to the bowling. Okay, I'll give credit to the bowling. Patel, no joke. This guy was no joke. Four runs on one over. Four runs in the next over. Six runs in the next over. And where is he at? Oh, guess what? He didn't bowl again. He's Maybe they only have a three-over limit. I think they have four like anyone else. He didn't bowl his fourth over? This guy was lights out. So maybe you say Patel was no joke. That's why they didn't score that much. Okay. But what happened when they went against Pereira? Because he gave up only five and three. And then in the middle over, when we start turning on, oh, 22 runs he gives up. So don't tell me he was lights out. You can have a bad over. I get it. You can get a few good sixes or fours. But what was going on with the power play? And then what was the switch? In my opinion, with my limited knowledge, but I do have some knowledge with cricket, that opening partnership, it was probably the worst opening partnership I can remember seeing in a T20 match. Three on five balls. And then Banuka, he finished 15 on 23 balls. Average strike rate of 62 for our opening batsman in a T20 match. Thank goodness they got out. Thank goodness they went down because then we got to Silva and then you had a few more wickets. Like what's going on with Moores and Malik? And then you had Pereira. Thank goodness to Silva and Pereira on the captain for the, um, the Stallions. Thank goodness they came in there because they saved the entire match with their 260s. This captain is no joke. I'll get to him later. But I did not like the power play. You mentioned the fielding. The fielding was absolutely atrocious as well. But that opening partnership, the fielding, and that power play, you almost were in this match where you're saying, are we going to get to 100? Is this Trident territory? Are we going to get to 91? And luckily, they had 22, 20, 22. Luckily, the bowling for the Tuskers just fell apart. They didn't bring Patel. He must have got injured. Tell me he had to get injured. Because that's the only thing that makes sense. But Gabe, that's what I did not like. Even though he scored a bunch of runs, imagine what they could have done. And if this was a playoff game, if this was a game that actually, you know, really mattered because they're still undefeated, imagine having that horrible start and not be able to get out of it. You got to fix that because it was atrocious. And then a tale of two games in the the latter half of the innings. Gabe, what'd you like? You know, it kind of piggybacks on what you did not like, but I'm also going to, Go ahead and, 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 and turn that around. So, you know, I could also say I didn't like the power play. Hear me out. Because you're going to complain about the power play or the opening partnership for uh, the Stallions. Well, the Tuskers opening partnership, Nick, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. First guy gone in the first over five balls. Five balls. Do you hear what I said? On the fifth ball, he is out. Okay, five balls, he's out, six runs. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy, it wasn't a golden duck, Stoinis. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you know what? I forgot about Stoinis. You're horrible, Nick. Wow. Drive by the drive by leader. So here it goes, right? I get it. You're chasing a big run, and people are trying to make this a big ch- a, a, a big score. People are trying to make this point this morning against India. Sometimes whenever you bat second, you're automatically at a disadvantage because you start chasing something and you play out of your, you know, you you put you press too much. Because here it goes. Dot six immediately, dot dot wicket, right? Because you're trying too hard. And, and, and it's like you gotta let the game come to you. So that was um uh, 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 how do I pronounce this name? It's gonna. I'm gonna. Unfortunately, I'm gonna. Is it Gubars? I'm gonna say Rahamala Gubars, right? Gubars. Rahamala Gubars, right? So, okay, whatever. He's trying too hard. You would think the next guy. Okay, let's settle this thing down, right? We're hurting. Let's settle this thing down. And you get. Let me see. Second over. You got 22 more runs. You got 22 more runs there. Then here comes another wicket. Okay, 2.2. So you haven't even made it through three overs. And again, uh, Shimwari, Shimwari, that's your bowler. Okay, Shimwari to um, MKD. uh, Oh, I'm going to say his last name, Pereira, 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 out. Dude, literally, what do we always say? You don't want to lose two wickets in the power play. Power play two wickets and 3.3 overs. Like you could just lay it down right there. But what do I like that the rest of the team didn't let them down because after that they didn't lose another wicket until the eighth over and they had they they made it 70 runs. Well, they Se- lost the third one in the fifth over, actually. They lost three Sorry. in the power play. Yeah, they lost three in the power play. Sorry. So they lost three, not two in the power play, three in the power play at 47 runs. But then after that, you didn't see another one until the eighth over. And by that time, they had put up 70 runs. So I thought, yo, 70 runs, we're going to be okay. Because remember, we were clowning. We were looking at your team. It was like 90. I I think it was in the ninth run. And they were at 45 runs, 50 runs. Like, Are they going to make it to 100? And then the explosion. So what did I like? I like that those the, the they scored early and they put up a decent total early on. But man, once those wickets began to fall later on, it did, and the the scoring dried up. It absolutely dried up, Nick. And, and listen, that was just a tale of, uh, of the take. Thirteenth over, five runs. Okay, twelfth over, three runs, one wicket, three runs, one wicket. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. I mean, I thought we on. were on what you liked. Are you still doing what you disliked? Did yeah. you do a, a double dislike? It's got to be a double dislike. How is this? Government gum? It, it's got to be. Guys, I literally was trying. I was hoping Nick would pick that team because I'm like, you know what? They're already losing. But I know if I go with this team and say, oh, yeah, I'm going to go with this team. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, Gabe, of course, because this team only scored 20 runs in the power play or whatever it was, 22 runs in the power play and four overs. How did I lose? You got to be kidding me. Yes, it's a double dislike. It's a double dislike. Gosh, <laughs> you got to be kidding me, man. Nick, what did you like, man? Oh, <laughs> you're really going to do the double. I love it. Double. I love it, man. Like. Here in the West Coast, it's all about the double double from In N Out Burger. You just did the double double right there. Mm. What did I like? This captain, this captain for the Stallions. I, I did not know this guy. Let us know in the chat. Is this guy an all timer or is he just having, is he young? I, I don't know anything about this guy, but the captain, Tassara Pereira. I mean, we had like two or three Pereiras on both sides. We had two or three to Silvas. Holy cow. But the Sar Pereira, this guy, the captain, 68. I did not like how he went out. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say that right now. Let me start with a small little negative. He had this high shot that was almost wide, and he was just doing this weird shot. got caught. But he got 68 runs on 28 balls, a Max Wellian strike rate of 242, almost 243. Wow, Max Wellian now. Woo, Max Wellian strike rate of over 200. This guy went nuts. But wait, wait, this guy is an all-rounder. He is a Chris Wokes-esque type cricketer right here. He can hurt you with the bat, and he can hurt you with the ball. This guy, let me see. Let me get to I want to get this guy the do that he deserves. There we go. Three overs, 2.1, barely, less than three overs, and only nine runs and two wickets. He goes in there for just a few overs. I got my two wickets and my nine runs, okay? 
He makes you forget about someone like named Tom Curran because this guy doesn't give up too many runs and he gets the wickets. This guy's an animal. Talking about animals, talking about the bowling, I know you're going to like this game. Look at this. We have Shinwari, three overs. Again, three overs. Why not four? Three overs, 17 runs, three. Oh, wait, I know why not four because they didn't get to the 18th over all the way through. Three overs, 17 runs, and three wickets. He says, I will get you a wicket for every over I bowl, all right? I'll get you a wicket for every one. This guy was a maniac. This guy, he's a maniac. He got the opening partnership that you're talking about. And hold on, he waits to the very end, and he also gets D Pereira. And then also this guy, Winindu, he got his four in. Hasaranga, four overs, only 17 runs. Rashid Conlight with two wickets. And it doesn't stop right there. We're talking about... Don and Jaya De Silva, 68 runs on 38 balls. He wasn't a Max Wellian effort, but he still got a strike rate of 160. This team, I mean, they've got to be, if not them or the Kings, they've got to be one of the, they got to be the best team in the LPL from what I see right here. And like you said, 26 in the power play. These guys had 26 in the power play. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. This is sad. They ended with 185. Their captain has getting you wickets and he's getting you 60s. Can you ask for anything more? Talk about Doublement Fun. Double the fun on that one, Doublement Gun. Hey, oh. Doublement, don't forget to sponsor a few um, <laughs> mor moronic Americans, okay? We appreciate oh, it. Gabe, what'd you learn? You know, I learned that, um, unfortunately, the LPL is suffering from the same uh, 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 COVID damage that the the CPL and, of course, uh, um, the... You know, even the IPL, where they've got a, a limited amount of venues, right? LPL is all playing, wait, being played on this one ground, right? If that is that, is that what they mentioned? All playing, all playing on one ground. Matches, yep. Right? Same thing. I mean, a, again, the CPL was all on two grounds, and it's going to take some wear and tear. It's going to take some wear and tear on the grounds. The pitches are going to be rough, you know. And, and initially, as I'm watching it, man, I'm like, dude, the scoring is it, it's literally CPL like. It's so slow. And then all of a sudden, this team just blew up, absolutely blew up. You know, um, you see that there's talent all around. You definitely see that there's talent all around. It's not quite at the level of the IPL, uh, okay? But then again, I think seldom, you know, neither is the CPL. You know what I mean? IPL has a lot of talent and a lot of international talent as well. Um, I did say, I, I did think, you know, for a, a, a starter up league, they could have not drawn a worse you know what I mean? A, a, a worse, because for a startup league, right, you, you got to sell TV right now. You got to have TV. We couldn't find it, guys. You guys had to help us and say, hey, you guys can find oh, it on YouTube. It. When Willow's not carrying it, Hot Star's not carrying it, because, guys, it's they're, it, it, they're getting crushed because they're not getting money from concessions, right? Because there's no concessions. There's no tickets at the gates being sold. They are depending on this TV money. So if you are a, 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 a LPL fan, guys, watch as many games as you can because they need that uh, TV and ad revenue in order for this league to survive till next year because they could not have picked a worse time. You know, the CPL is going to survive. They've got their core fans already built out. They've got their history. They've been there for a while. IPL obviously is going to survive, going to survive. But for a startup sport, it is rough to get this draw of the card, don't you think, Nick? Oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. it's absolutely tough. I was thinking about this with movies just earlier today. If you decided to invest the first time in just a movie as a as a side producer, you're not seeing that money anytime soon. And if you do see it, you're not going to see it's the capacity you would have seen if COVID didn't happen and things were rocking and rolling. It's super tough. I learned about the LPL. First year in existence, like you already mentioned, inaugural season. There's only five teams. It's always odd to me when you have an odd number of teams. I like things to be balanced. One, one place they're playing at, even though they wanted to have more before COVID or whatever. They had their draft in October. They were supposed to start in August. The people that created this league, they are relentless. They want to get it out there. They want to bring more cricket to Sri Lanka. And they want to showcase Sri Lankan cricketers around the world. As far as I understand, the Sri, Sri Lankan international team is not anywhere near the top as far as uh, points and all that kind of stuff, rankings. But I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome that they have put forth the effort. They have put forth the money. They put their money where their mouth is, and they're showcasing their cricket. 
And if it wasn't for this, it would be a long time at least until I knew about some of these players like Pereira, De Silva, Hasaranga, Shinwari that are just on the Stallions, not to mention other players. So I think that's really cool. Um, I heard some mixed reviews on the LPL. I know there's been some big performances. I really enjoyed this match. For me, even though it's on, it's the eighth match now, play on the same grounds, I feel like, you know, because the team I chose won, I felt like it was decent cricket. You know, we got 185, we got a bowl out, we had some bowling, we had some bad fielding. That was the most obvious thing. But I enjoyed myself. I learned about the LPL. I learned about different players. And so there was a whole lot all together that I learned. But as a novice right now, is it on the level of international cricket? No. Is it on the level of IPL cricket? No. Is it on the level of PSL cricket? No. But it's still cricket and it's still enjoyable cricket. It's still entertained. And I'm, and I'm liking what they're doing. I got to tell you what. We, you know, something else we learned that has nothing to do with it, with um, the LPL. But, you know, the United States – America, we're getting our own cricket league, okay? And my man SRK it, it, it already purchased a team, the LA team. But when you think about teams or, or, or countries that that aren't necessarily test worthy, right? They're not up there in the standing, in the rankings. This is a good way to get that talent, Nick, to eventually get that test team going. You know what I'm saying? So that you Absolutely. can compete. So this is a good idea. Let's let's not just try to jump into the big dog, okay? We can't jump in a test if we're the United States. Yeah, we got a cricket team, but they ain't doing it yet. But let's get the uh, our, our local team here. Let's try to get some players, maybe some local players even, obviously a few international players, and, and, and grow the sport here, which is I'm sure what Sri Lanka's trying to do. You got Pakistan trying to do it with the, P, uh, with the PSL. You may see more of these leagues uh, um, start up around the world because cricket is very, very popular. But it's also a way to get that talent because like you and I were saying, India has enough players to field two test teams. You know what I'm saying? Look at all the talent. But most of this talent they find from the IPL, right, and from the um, – the, yeah, the local leagues. leagues and even the local leagues aren't big enough to get them that attention. They need the IPL. So I think that this was, it, it, is going to help America and Sri Lanka develop more talent, get some more eyeballs out there, and get those test teams ready. Like, you know, listen, it's going to be a while before we're test ready, brother. But you better believe that first test game, five days, bro, I'm taking my sick days. <laughs> I'm taking a whole week or hoping it's during the summer. Hopefully it's during the summer, man, because I'm there. Glory at five days. Could you imagine? Glory. Babe, got to go. What are you doing? I got work. I I, I got CFA Nation stuff that I got to do. I got, I'm at the game. And you got to remember, they have days off in between, so we, we're taking like nine days right there. We'll be back in two weeks. Glorious. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this. Let us know what your thoughts are. If you watch the match, if you watch other LPL matches this season, it's early in the season. This was just the eighth match. match. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for everything. And until next time. That six runs.